King Winter is still refusing to leave these lands and it has left the area cold and quiet. There is absolutely no wind whatsoever and everything is dead quiet. Hello there, aren't you a neat little fella? I'm gonna see if I can take a picture of them. So today is an overcast day and it's about zero degrees Celsius. So it's not super cold, but it's, it has been very cold and it has left the, the lands frozen. It's like I'm walking inside of a photograph. Everything is kind of still. So right now I'm exploring uh, parts of the uncultivated lands on the island where I haven't been before. So everything here is new to me. Oh, and by the way, welcome to another episode. <laughs> Thing is, <laughs> you don't actually feel the cold until you stop and work on your composition. That's when you get cold. So I've been here for 20 minutes now and I've, I've because I got drawn into a scene with some lovely withered heather in the foreground leading to a beautiful tree. So I've stayed here for 20 minutes trying to work out a composition and I think I got it. At least it's the best composition so far. And what I've done is I've taken out my wide angle lens and I'm shooting in portrait mode with the camera slightly tilted down so I can get the withered headed in the foreground because I want that to be massive in the composition but I also want it leading towards the tree. And the thing that I have struggled most with is to isolate the tree because the tree is actually the main subject but I'm thinking now since I can't isolate the tree the way I want I'm gonna make the withered heather the main subject and the tree the longer I worked on the composition the colder I grew and I struggled to translate what I was seeing in my mind to the camera I chose the wrong lens for the job and when I got back home and reviewed the image I found it cluttered messy unfocused and best described as Having seen all the footage from this trip, I'm still convinced there's an image to be had here. I just don't think my approach did it any justice. So instead of including the image in this video, I will go out one more time another day and take the image one more time. Hopefully that time it will be the way I envisioned it in my head. So you'll just have to wait. Anyway, onwards with the video. I guess it's pretty obvious what draw my eye towards this scene. And what I've done is that I've composed the image so I get the least amount of distractions. I put my focus directly on the tree and I'm shooting in horizontal mode. And I've included all three islands and some of the bank in the foreground because I really love the white touches, the white, uh, white ice and snow around it. And I also included the S-shaped ice behind it. At first I thought I would go closer in, kind of zoom in on the tree and make that kind of pretty large in the frame. And then I realized that what I like about this image is that it's a lonely tree. And to increase that sense of loneliness, I had to go out. So I've almost, almost at no zoom at all. I'm shooting at F11, 50. 50 of a second and I focus directly on the tree.
am out of the woods and I'm back in open landscape. It's been approximately an hour since I had my snack and uh, I've ran out of food. <laughs> Almost ran out of coffee, but not quite. I saw this beautiful tree. Hang on, there's a huge bird coming. I saw a beautiful tree when I walked here. It was a beautiful tree and I've been looking for a tree like that. And I think it would do well in snowy conditions. I'm looking for an image to conclude this video with, but so far I haven't been that lucky. It's, it's quite beautiful all around, but it's, I haven't found the one image yet. But I'm optimistic because down here I see signs of a little water and there are some straws around it. So if that's frozen, I can walk out on the ice and maybe get an interesting angle on it. And that, that might yield me a final image. If not, I've tried. Because of the cold, I'm able to stand where I'm standing right now. Because this whole marsh is frozen solid. And that is the benefit of extreme cold. I can think of a few disadvantages, but this is definitely an advantage. So I found this beautiful green patch among these yellow straws. And I put up the camera, so I'm behind some straws looking through it. And I'm gonna fill up my entire image with straws and that green patch in the middle. It's not a patch, but... Uh, it's called Brock in Norwegian. I'm not sure what it's called in English. And I'm shooting at the lowest aperture I got on this zoom, which is f4.0. That, that way it gives me the front straws is a bit out of focus, but I got pin shot focus on the, on the uh, Brock. And I'm absolutely loving this scene. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm gonna do a four x five crop, I think, when I get back. And right now it's just the color of the straws and the green in the middle and I love it. Really glad I pushed on just for a little bit. <laughs> Being able to stand on the ice gives me a unique opportunity to photograph these straws close up and I'm really grateful I took the trip down here. And I think the image turned out okay. I won't, I'm not, I, I have a good feeling, but I'm not sure until I get back and have a closer look at it. Anywho, I've run out of food and I've run out of juice on my main camera, but seeing it that I'm in such a beautiful location and uh, it's getting darker, I think this is the perfect time and place to say thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post every Thursday and there's a new adventure every week. And hopefully there's good images, but you never know. You never know. Leave a comment on which picture you preferred. That's always interesting to read. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching and take care of each other. And I'll see you in about a week. Ha det